Hey guys, welcome back. Bolt Spider here, and today we're going to be doing a, another episode of How to Deck Build. We have quite a bit left, but let's get right into it. Let's see what we get, and let's hope it is going to be good. Now, today we are going to be doing Black Wings. Black Wings are interesting, as Simo has done those so much in his progression series. Now, one of the things that is sad about Black Wings is that they don't really run Kalut anymore, sadly, because that's not how the deck functions anymore. You have many different builds. You have Black Wing Tri Brigade, you have Black Wing Dogmatica, but let's see what we can do. Now, for Black Wings, I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the spells and synchros. So, for the synchros, we are going to be needing pretty much not many of them they don't run nothing on anymore they run an obsidian hawk joe they run a chidori a recurry and then a full armored master and that's pretty much it for the monsters and then for the spells just black whirlwind see how much how this deck has changed now for some of the monsters you don't run them anymore even though two of them are banned and a few of them some people do run one Breeze Zephyr because it can be useful because if this card is added from your deck to your hand by a card effect, you could special summon this card from your hand. So if you add it off of Black Whirlwind, you could summon it for free and go up into any of your Synchro Monsters as it can help tutor out your full Armor Master. Another thing we can do is uh, the Waxing Moon as... It is, if this card is sent to the graveyard during the end phase, you can add one Blackwing monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of itself. So it's there just as a name, since we're running Triple Gale, as that's an extender, we have Triple Uster, as this is just when this card is normal summon, target one of your banished level 4 lower wing or Blackwing monster, special summon into defense. You could banish this card from your graveyard to activate one of these effects place a black feather counter on a black wing dragon or place a wedge counter on each monster face up on the field this works well with things like fully armored master and after that we're running i'm gonna just do one zephyro so you can opt into two but i feel like one is good enough then we have triple borrow the spear because it's a extender double chris the crack of dawn it's an extender and finally we have our Black Whirlwind um, Placer being Simoon giving us an additional normal summon. Now, outside of that, that's all we're really running on the Blackwing front. And I believe today we're just going to do the Tri Brigade route. And this is a small engine of the Triple Fractal, one Curse, one Kit, and Triple Nerval. That's all we're really doing for the monsters then we're gonna have the one omen the one rugal one bear room and one to two frigid depending on how you are with one to two revolt now another great card is harpy's feather storm because it you control wind wing beast you could just negate everything so one of the things you could make in this deck is Seamorg, the bird of sovereignty that's one thing that you want to end on and since we're running some tuners that we can summon we're going to be running a halk and we can also run a y strix because y strix is just the name so we can go up into the Seamorg, even though we have tri brigades for this other things we are going to run of course, we're going to have to run Foolish Burial because the card's very good. And let's continue going. Other things we can run. We can run a small Phantom Knight. Well, a small Phantom Knight package. And this package is going to have like a cloak, a boots. Then we're also going to be running the Bardiche with double of the Fogblade and one Shade Brigandine because Shade is just another extender. 
And finally, we just need to finish up the rest. One of the best cards that has come out is Baron. Baron. The Fleur. And we can also run Boral Load Savage Dragon. Now we only have one more space left. And there's for the extra deck. And I could put on like triple Ash Blossom maybe for the main deck. So it's 42 cards. And then finally for the last card in the extra deck. I think we're going to be putting in. Hmm, that I'm actually not too sure what we should put in. I guess we could put it in the second Fergit. And let's see a test sand and let's see what we could do. So we open up uh, Pinnakey and Double Bora. Let's see how far we can get. We're going to summon up the Pinnakey. We can only use it for Synchro Summons of stuff. But that's absolutely okay. Let's see here. Target level 5 or higher Winged Beast Monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. So I feel like, first off, we're going to go up into something like the Y Strix here. And then Y Strix is going to trigger, and we can summon out something like the Zephros the Elite. After that, we're going to go up into the Bardish. Or we could go into something else. It really depends on how we want to do this line. I feel like some orgs going to be useful here since it just goes on the field. But let's see what we can do elsewhere. I, I, how many carrots am I running? We should up it to two along with Kit at that point. And we could cut down a couple cards here. I feel like we could cut down one. So this is actually an ideal hand. We can activate the Samoon. Banishing, I would, I would say the Gale of the Whirlwind from hand. So we could place, and then we're going to normal summon out the Simoon. Black Whirlwind is going to trigger. Now we still have an additional normal summon. And what we're going to be adding off of this is going to be something like the Breeze. Now Breeze is going to trigger its effect to special summon itself. After that, we can still normal summon out our Zephyros, and we get a second trigger of Black Whirlwind. Then we can grab something like a Gal the Will Gal back, and we're going to activate the Fractal, use its effect to send Kit, and we're going to activate Kit's effect to send Nerval. Nerval's going to activate its effect so we can grab the Karis from our deck. Now... Where do we go from here? We're going to special out Gale the Whirl Whirlwind. And we can go up into Y Strix next. So we're going to be using Zephyrus the Elite and the Breeze to summon out Y Strix. And Y Strix is going to trigger summoning out a level 4 monster from our deck. And I think we're going to be summoning out Chris the Black Dawn. Because we can activate Zephyrus, bounce it back to summon the Zephyrus. And we can special summon back the Chris out. Now after that... We're going to use Zephyrus and Y Strix to summon the Bardish, use its effect, sending the cloak, setting the fog blade. And this is why it's useful to have the cloak so you could search out a monster to special it out. Now, we could also run an X seed in here, but I don't think it's needed because we can go up into that. We can use the silent boots. And we're going to be grabbing the Fog Blade. So we're going to have two Fog Blades set. Activate the Karras, discarding Nerval, summoning itself out. Activating the Karras, and we're going to be banishing for four. Because we're locked into dark monsters. And that's completely fine, in my opinion, because we could just banish what we don't need to summon the Shurag out. We're not going to activate the effects. So that's uh, that's an end board, but let's do one more hand to see where we're going to go. <coughs> so this hand. <coughs> not going to do much, but we're just going to go into another hand and see what we could do with this. So we're going to activate the effect of Foolish Burial, sending something like the kit. 
I like this tutor engine in this deck because it could help fill up the graveyard so you can actually have extra plays on top of what you have because this right here is really nothing all that much and we're going to be adding the Karis from our hand or to our hand so we're going to normal summon Chris we are going to special summon Gale special summon Bora and some of the things that we could summon we could summon a lot of things so one thing about Lystrix, it doesn't lock you into anything. I forget which one locks you, but let's go and summon out Seymour gear. Then we have the Karas to summon out, and we're going to activate the Karas Banishing 2. So we're going to be Banishing Fractal and Nerval to summon out a Bear Brum. And afterwards, we're just going to go Rugal. I wish we had an extra card in hand. But I don't want to stay too long with this video, as I feel like the deck could definitely be approved on, and I want to know what you guys think about it down in the description. I hope you guys also did enjoy. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video, and goodbye.